In our last tutorial, we learned to build an app that takes incoming text messages and responds to those incoming text messages with a predefined auto response. The app looked pretty simple. There's a text box here where we could type something in. I think we typed in hi party at seven. Let's say hi party at seven at my mom's house. So the example, I'm going to save that. So now anyone who texts me is going to receive a response that just says hi party, that says what's written right here. And the example I gave um, in the last tutorial was saying you're in high school and you're sending this text, this message out to your friends. Um, and if your mom texts you, things won't go well, obviously, because you don't want your mom to know about it. So let's learn how to treat messages from your mom differently than messages from everyone else. And we're going to assume that everyone else texting you um, are people that you want to receive this auto response. So we're going to use some logic here. Uh, and you'll notice I used the word if when I was explaining. I said if your mom texts you. So ironically, we're going to look under control, not logic, under built-in. Click control. And let's grab if else right here. And let's put it under text message receive. So let's say that let's say that your mom's phone number is 100. So we're going to look at this value coming in. If number is equal to, I'm going to make this full screen. If number is equal to 100, then do what? How about we, instead of ignoring mom's message, let's send her a message, a nice message back that just says, hi mom. So we need to set the texting to something. So I can go to my blocks and click texting here, or I can start typing texting one dot message. And then I'll type text here. Hi. Mom. Okay. And then I want to send that text to mom. So, oh, sorry. I need to make sure that the number is set to send to mom too. So I'm copying this block. So texting one dot phone number to the number, which will be 100 in this case. And uh, we've already set the message. And then we want to go ahead and send that message. Okay, so if the number is equal to 100, so if mom texts us, do this. Now, right here, App Inventor makes it easy for us. It says else. So here it says the actions to be performed when the test is false. So this is the test. So if the number is not mom's, then we'll go ahead and do what we want to do before. If you, you will notice that there's some code being repeated here. And let's look at this. I have this, I'm setting the phone number to number and sending the message in either case. So we can actually just take that out of here. Um, this needs to be second. So because the only thing that's changing here is the message. So let's look. If mom texts me, then say texting one dot message to hi mom. If anyone else texts me, set it to whatever the auto response is. In this case, hi party at seven and then send the message. Okay, so now you might think, how can we get more, um, how can we make this app easier to use? Because after we've loaded this app onto our phone, it's only this number that will be excluded from the rest of the numbers. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get a bit more um, technical with this and have a list of numbers that you want to receive certain messages and ones that you don't. Okay, hope you were able to follow along and see you on the next one.